It's quite uh, common uh, to prescribe uh, the PPAs in our uh, practice because a lot of Indians come with uh, GERD symptoms, gastritis symptoms, heartburn and all that because of the spicy food uh, that they take, so indigestion and so on, so it's quite commonly used. Um, it should be more scientifically prescribed because we know that uh, indiscriminate use of this will lead to tolerance. The drug will not work anymore. Then you'll have to use higher doses or change it. And therefore, I think strict guidelines have to be prepared for use of this. There are reports coming that uh, indiscriminately if you use these PPIs, they can alter the gut microbiota. So instead of having the healthy gut microbes, you can have very unhealthy gut microbes, which can lead to series of metabolic uh, disturbances, including a leaky gut, which is, leads to inflammation, obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, uh, and even some forms of cancer, as they say. Uh, so it's very important to preserve the gut microbiome. Yes, I think so. I think uh, although we need to do more studies in the Indian context, but it makes uh, sense that if the gut microbiota are going to be altered by any particular group of drugs, then giving a prebiotic or a probiotic uh, definitely makes sense. This is common sense because if you take antibiot antibiotics which are used, uh, so whenever you use an antibiotic, we know that you get diarrhea. Now, why do you get that? Because the gut microbes are being altered. So nowadays it is common practice that whenever an antibiotic is given to, to give a probiotic uh, along with that. So similarly, I think Whichever groups of drugs are known to affect the gut microbiota, prescribing a prebiotic or a probiotic along with that makes absolute sense.